Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create flat shadows in After Effects so let's get started. Alright so here we are in After Effects I'm using After Effects CC 2017 but you can follow along in previous versions as well. So I'm going to start a new composition or create a new composition by clicking on this icon here and um, I'm going to make this HD 1920 by 1080 25 frames a second and I'm going to make it 8 seconds in duration you can change it it's not really that important and then I'm going to click on OK. All right now first of all we're going to create some text so I'm going to right click new and text and let's just type something I'm going to type shadows. All right I'm just going to change my quality to full and uh, then I'm going to pre-compose this so I'm going to right click and go to pre-compose and I'm going to call this layer content or contents. Okay move all attributes into the new composition click on OK and uh, then we're going to start adding our effects onto this composition. So the first effect that we're going to add is the CC Radial Blur. So I'm going to right click on this, go to Effect, go to Blur and Sharpen. And uh, then I'm going to select the CC Radial Blur. Alright, and uh, then I'm going to change the type to Straight Zoom. And I'm going to click on the center and uh, I'm just going to change the center to somewhere around in the top left corner. And uh, then you also want to increase the amount. So I'm going to increase the amount to around... 150 that should be all right just so that our blur is going outside of the comp area and uh, what we also want to do is we want to create a background so i'm going to right click here new solid and i'm going to call this one bg for background and i'm going to move it behind our content and um, okay so basically we've got that gray background let's just add a gradient to our background so i'm going to right click effect generate and uh, then i'm going to select gradient ramp and i'm going to change this to radial going to move this middle point down like that and I'm going to change this white to like a dark gray and then I'm just going to increase this so we have something nice like a nice gradient gray gradient all right so on our contents I am going to add my second effect and that's going to be the full effect so I'm going to right click go to effect go to generate and then full and uh, then I'm going to change the color to black all right so we've got that black blur and the third effect that I'm going to add is a levels. So I'm going to right click, go to effect, go to color correction. And uh, then you want to go with the levels, individual controls. And uh, then you expand alpha here at the bottom and you change your alpha input white to one. All right, that's going to give you like a solid black um, shadow basically. All right, and the final effect that we're going to add on this composition is CC Composite. So I'm going to right click, go to Effect, and then we're going to go to Channel and then select CC Composite. And that's basically just going to composite our text over everything else. So that is looking good. And uh, now we want to animate our shadow, our flat shadow. So I'm going to go to this radial blur. I'm just going to expand that. And then we basically want to animate our center point, okay? So I'm going to start the center point off here in the corner. And um, I'm going to click on the stopwatch next to center. And then I'm going to go forward on my timeline to around 4 seconds. And then I'm just going to drag this over to this side. And then I'm also going to trim down my comp duration to around 4 seconds. And let's do a quick RAM preview. Alright, so as you can see our flat shadow is working nicely. Now the nice thing about using it this way is you can go into this contents composition and now I can just change this text so I'm going to right click new text and let's just type something else like text and now if I go back to my main comp you'll see that it's going to update my text and it will also keep my animation which is pretty nice so it's really easy just to update the contents um, of your text and that flat shadow will be applied to everything inside that comp. And that's how easy it is to create flat shadows in After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button. I upload new tutorials on a weekly basis. So yeah, if you click on the subscribe button, you get notified. I do motion graphics and visual effects tutorials every week. So click on that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, it's a win-win situation. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.